It has been more than two months since Hurricane Harvey made landfall, and in that time, the Red Cross has collected hundreds of millions of dollars. But tonight, some Harvey flood victims, people who have donated, even the Texas governor, are asking the question, where's the money? Investigative reporter Brian New following the money trail for us tonight. Joining us in studio, Brian. Yeah, Doug, today on a conference call with reporters, Governor Greg Abbott revealed he has had several conversations with the president of the Red Cross, expressing his concern that the money is not getting into the hands of those who need it. The Red Cross fired back today, saying it's been transparent and will reach out to the governor again. The Red Cross has so far collected more than $429 million in Harvey relief donations. We know some of this money has been spent on meals, shelters, and direct financial assistance to flood victims. The Red Cross has given the I team an estimated budget showing where it plans to spend all the money. But at this current time, the Red Cross cannot tell us how much of the $429 million has so far been spent. Tonight, some of the highest ranking lawmakers on Capitol Hill say donors deserve more transparency. When the rain came down in record amounts in Houston, the donations came flooding in. Millions upon millions of dollars were donated. But some of those who lost everything say not enough is trickling down to them. I haven't received two niggas you rubbed yet. As the floodwaters rose in Orange County, Kerry Burns set out to help his neighbors reach higher ground. But when he turned around to get his pickup truck, I truck took off down the, down the road by itself. <laughs> They still ain't found the dang truck. The floodwaters washed away his truck and his trailer. Everything he owned was lost in the storm. For the next four weeks, Burns stayed at a Red Cross shelter in Dallas. He says all he needs is a little financial assistance to get back on his feet. But so far, he says, no, sir. he hasn't received any, no money from any charity. When Burns applied for the Red Cross $400 emergency assistance fund, he was denied with no reason given. I wish we could give these uh, $400 um, gifts to everyone that was even marginally impacted by Hurricane Harvey, but we can't. Red Cross President Gail McGovern says she has authorized more than $229 million in direct financial assistance for Harvey victims. This is on top of the money the Red Cross spent on shelters and on the millions of meals it handed out to hurricane victims. But would the IT mass how much of the donated money the Red Cross has spent so far on Harvey relief efforts? The Red Cross couldn't answer. Instead, the Red Cross gave the IT team its budget on how it plans to spend the money. McGovern told us when all is said and done, more than 90% of all money donated will go directly to relief efforts. We are really proud of the fact that we keep our overhead low. So 91 cents of every dollar will go to support our relief efforts. 91 cents of every dollar goes to relief efforts. That's a claim U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley is skeptical of. I'm not from Missouri, but I say show me and make sure that you can demonstrate that 90 percent of your money goes there. Now, we had problems with the Red Cross in regard to Haiti a few years ago showing uh, where their money went. In 2010, when an earthquake devastated Haiti, the Red Cross told donors the same thing it told donors after Hurricane Harvey. I'm more committed than ever to make sure that 91 cents of every dollar goes to the Haitian people. But according to an investigation by Senator Grassley, 91 cents of every dollar donated for Haiti did not go to relief efforts. The report found nearly a quarter of the $500 million raised went towards administrative costs and overhead. The report also notes the Red Cross tried to terminate the government's audit and was not fully cooperative with providing Congress detailed financial records. Senator Grassley says he still wants people to give. I want people to donate to the Red Cross. But says donors deserve to know exactly where their money is going, which is why he's introduced the Red Cross Transparency Act. If this passes, the Red Cross would be required by law to give Congress access to its records including its financial transactions. We're a charity, we're not a government agency. And we don't want to add to our overhead by responding to inspection after inspection. The Red Cross disagrees with the findings of Grassley's investigation and stands firm on its claim that 91 cents of every dollar goes directly to those with the greatest need. Though for some who've lost everything. No sir, I ain't received nothing from the Red Cross at the moment. Anyway, the help is hard to see. Now, since we last spoke with Burns, he has found a department here in Dallas 
but says he still hasn't received any financial assistance from the Red Cross. Also worth noting, this past weekend, the CEO of the Texas Gulf Coast chapter of the Red Cross resigned, writing on his Facebook page that he disagreed with too many of the decisions that were being made as it related to Hurricane Harvey recovery. He had only been on the job for six months. So, Brian, tonight we focus on the Red Cross, obviously, but as we all know, we saw a handful of really big charitable efforts out there for Hurricane Harvey yeah. relief. What about some of the others and the money that was there? Because that is to the tune of millions as well. Yeah, remember how Houston Texan J.J. Watt raised $37 million? Four charities will get that money, but the You Carried website Watt used to collect those donations will take a cut for overhead. We did the math and found about $1.1 million will be kept by youcaring.com. Now, as for the Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund that was set up by Houston's mayor, it collected $79 million. So far, less than 10% of that money has been given out to organizations in the community. And if I remember right, J.J. Watt, in the uh, week or so ago, tweeted out the four specific charities where they're gonna yeah. piece off that yeah. money. So. And he did mention that he wanted to take time to make sure that money went to he wanted organizations. To, he wanted to vet it, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Like we all want to vet it as well. Yeah. Brian, you, you expect when you give money. Absolutely. Exactly. Good insight. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it.